so my roommates have gone for the weekend and I've decided to take over the kitchen and show you guys how to make one of my favorite foods. This is by no means a complicated recipe. We're making ramen out of the bag. I add some extra things to it so it's extra delicious. It's almost gourmet. Mm, no, probably not. But it's really good. I eat this probably, mm, probably five times a week. And not just because it's uh, cheap and I'm in college. I'm like addicted to this stuff. I eat it way too much. Okay. Let's go over here. You need one package of shinomi, one egg, green onions, miso paste, a pan, and utensils. I add about three cups of water to a pan like this. And it'll, some of it will boil off anyway. Okay, next step. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn your oven on to high heat to get the water boiling. So once you have a nice boil going, go ahead and open up the packet of ramen. Remove the noodles. And then also in the packet there are uh, vegetable mix and the soup base. So go ahead and add the vegetables because they need to be rehydrated. And also add soup base. So this is gonna boil for about two minutes and then we'll add the egg. If you add the egg too soon, it's gonna overcook and your egg is gonna be kinda gross. Unless you like overcooked egg, go for it. I don't really do things by time or measurement, I kinda just guess when it feels right. Okay, the noodles feel pretty soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack and add the egg. Now if you stir it, it'll prevent the egg from sticking to the bottom. Okay, so now we're almost done. I'm gonna turn off the oven and put it on the back. So the noodles are still sort of cooking while they're in the pot there. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of miso paste. You don't wanna add this before because if you boil miso paste, it kills uh, something. You're just not supposed to do it. So put it in now after it's stopped boiling. Stir it in. Now just pour it in your bowl. Go ahead and add your um, green onions on top. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that these noodles are pretty spicy, so if you're not keen on spicy food, I would not buy these noodles. Um, also, I did mention these noodles, you can buy them, I think Walmart and Kroger carry them, but I buy them in bulk from the world market near my house. But yeah, so they are spicy, but if you're like me and you like really spicy food, you might want to add extra um, sriracha sauce or um, red pepper flakes. But on its own, it is pretty spicy. Depending on um, how much water you add, the more water, the more dilute it's gonna be. Yeah, and also adding things like egg and the miso, that's also gonna tone down the spice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I, like I said, eat this pretty much every day. If anyone has any other things they like to add to the shin ramen, uh, let me know because I'm always looking for other things to add to it. But this is the standard, pretty much how I make it every day. But yeah, and I'm going to eat these now or else they're going to get soggy. So I hope you have enjoyed this and we'll make your own shin ramen. I hope you all are well, and I'll see you later. Bye.